Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and welcome to another episode of what I'm playing. Today, we are playing The Legend Incarnate. Finally, on the Nintendo Switch. Doom! Hope you enjoyed my little uh, black metal voice there. Not really, though. So. This game has a lot of controversy surrounding it. For one, BNet or Bethesda Net, which uh, was a hot topic, you know, when the game first came out, a lot of people complained about the fact that you had to sign into this online service, which was really weird. It really doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess it would make a little more sense if it was like on PC, where DRM is kind of necessary in some cases. But on consoles, they've already got the marketplaces down locked tight, so DRM practices like that just seem kind of silly and, um, uh, you know, just obnoxious, honestly. But that being said, this is a very good version of classic Doom, with one noticeable thing that you might hear if uh, you're a classic fan. You might hear the music. And if you're familiar with Doom, you'll notice that the music is a little bit off, kind of. Okay, kill those bad guys. So I'm playing an Ultra Violence, which of course, you know, ups the ante with the enemy count and everything like that. It's a lot tougher than the other mode, uh, you know, other modes before it, clearly. Just because there's a lot more enemies you have to deal with. You know, for example, if you play on the difficulty below this, you don't even have the shotgun guys to deal with there. So you're definitely going to deal with a lot of challenge, but I mean, Doom is Doom. It is such a phenomenal game that has aged so well. Now, that being said, I do have some problems with Doom um, in some level designs. But for the most part, the game has extremely well-made levels, a lot of good action, you know, good times. It's just good times all together. Of course, the shotgun in Doom is probably the most overpowered shotgun of all time, and it's just ridiculous how easily you kill enemies, even from, like, an extreme distance. I'm trying to kill that guy with the explosive barrel, and it didn't work out the best, but we got it here. So, also, you notice that the med kits and whatnot, they no longer have the little red cross that they used to. They had the little pill symbol now, and that's because they actually got sued by the American Red Cross over it, and so they had to change the symbol for later versions of the game. It's just such a weird thing, though, because it I don't know why they would have such a patent or trademark on something like that. It just doesn't make any sense, but they do. So, go ahead, open this door up here. So we can get the mega armor. We don't have to worry about that at all. And we're gonna pop in here and blast some more guys. So we found us a nice little secret. We got the health maxed out, so we can go ahead and press on if we wanted to, but we're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be that lame. I wanna show you guys some more good Blastic Doom gameplay. But yeah, I mean, this game is just a lot of fun and it is worth playing for sure. Let's go ahead and kill that imp. Before we move on, might as well grab the couple little potions just so we don't start with less health next stage. So we're all set. First stage of Doom in the bag. I mean, it's a classic, obviously. Uh, uh, adjust the game audio down just a tiny bit on the stream thing here. There we go. You might be able to hear me better now. I probably had to scream before so that you could even hear me. So obviously you could just go guns blazing in Doom. This is not like the FPS games that we deal with nowadays where you have to deal with various things like cover and um, weapon realism and all that kind of stuff. You know, this is a game you just go in guns blazing, you destroy everything on the screen. And you just feel like a total badass while you're doing it. That is what's great about this game. It really is. 
You know, you never feel like you're inadequate in this game, and not unless you really suck, of course, or you're just dealing with a really vicious horde of enemies. But that being said, you know, you just feel like a badass. And it's just a good time. It's just a sad state of affairs that the music obviously has a little bit of problems. You know, hopefully whenever they patch it, they will get it to the proper speed. Because it's playing a little bit slower than it's supposed to. And also, whenever they patch it, hopefully they deal with that whole Bethesda net nonsense. You know, I don't mind companies adding in little extra features like that, but, you know, they should be optional. You shouldn't be loading games down unnecessarily, especially old games like this. It's just kind of silly, you know. I mean, who's going to be going around pirating Doom nowadays? <laughs> you know? I would think most people that are into pirating video games aren't going to really care to pirate this game. Because they probably already have, for one. You know, like... Everybody that's pirates video games has a copy of Doom laying around somewhere. And so... It's just... It's just silly. It really is. But anyways... Another thing that I really want to talk about when it comes to Doom... Is... The fact that, man, it's just so nostalgic, it really is. I've got a lot of stories to tell you about the times i played this game. This is probably my most played PC game of all time. You know, ever since I got it around, I guess it must have been around 1995, early 1995. Maybe it was late 94. I remember getting Ultimate Doom. And I was an idiot about it because whenever I got Ultimate Doom, I noticed that it said it had all four episodes. And for some reason, you know, it's like 40 bucks. And then, of course, there was Doom 2 next to it for 50. So this was at a local Walmart, of course, back in late 94, early 95 era. That's about the normal pricing for a brand new PC game, I'm sure, during that time. But anyways, it was just ridiculous that in my thought process, I thought that Doom 2 was Episode 2. You know, I didn't realize that they were talking about the episodes because before I was playing the shareware version of the game. And so I thought that there was like four Doom games for some reason. And I thought this Ultimate Doom had all of them. Like an idiot, of course. And so I bought Ultimate Doom, which still was an excellent choice. Don't get me wrong. But it was not Doom 2. I did not get the super shotgun that had double barrels. That was something I had to be jealous about at my friend Ryan's house, who had Doom 2, of course. But I digress. Ultimate Doom was a lot of fun. Shortly after getting the game, of course, I got the uh, level pack thing or whatever that included over 600 levels. It had all kinds of extra stuff. You know, this was user-created content, I suppose that they bundled in here. They probably weren't even supposed to sell this, you know, because of the fact that it was user-generated content that probably was not legally able to be sold, but they did. <laughs> and, uh, you know, from there, shortly after, I got access to the internet, and one of the very first things I did was to download Doom levels, you know. I downloaded all kinds of really cool Doom levels. Um, you know, a lot of original levels, of course, Levels based on some of my favorite things of that time, like the Aliens movies, of course, which I still love. And, of course, you know, Army of Darkness. There was a total conversion mod of Army of Darkness, which was completely awesome. Which, of course, if I had Doom 2, I would have got a little more out of the experience. Because they had a little extra stuff in the Doom 2 version. And I was wondering how I got here, because I... I remember seeing this room before with the chainsaw and everything, and I can never figure out how to actually get here, but I finally am here. So let's go ahead and hit the switch and get our chainsaw out. There we go. Now, one of the things that's really cool about Doom, obviously, is the fact that it has such a versatile user-created content system, which I hope that Bethesda can find some way to implement that into these releases of Doom and Doom 2 because it really adds a lot to the experience. You know, I want to be able to do something like Brutal Doom, for example. That would be awesome because Brutal Doom is fantastic. I would love to be able to do 
just any kind of user created levels mods have a map editor i mean i used to make some of my own doom maps and it was fantastic you know like making maps like this was before the whole columbine thing of course making maps about places that existed in my real life you know so nowadays you don't want to make levels like that because you'll be considered a terrorist or something like that but i digress uh it was a lot of fun making that type of content and you know just a blast it, a lot of good memories with doom and i'm sure if you played video games back then you probably have the same type of stories to share Yeah, good times. Just good times all around. Everybody loves a shotgun to the face in Doom. I think if I remember right, there's a secret wall over here around this area somewhere. I might be wrong. It probably wasn't. Either that or I didn't trigger it properly. There we go. So, this game does hand out the ammo a lot. The game's not super challenging, at least on the first episode, unless you're playing on the hardest difficulty. But it does ramp up very well. The difficulty curve in Doom is excellent. You know, you never feel like it's too hard right off the bat. And you never feel it's too easy either. It has a really strong balance. But that being said, if you try to play that fourth episode that comes part of Ultimate Doom, which this version does include, that episode is a little ridiculous. That one I usually can't beat unless I'm playing on the second difficulty level because it gets super challenging with the way the enemies are set up, the way the levels are set up. It's a very challenging episode. But uh, it's, just, it's just a good time, you know? This game has everything that you can want and desire in a action FPS type game. A lot of high action. You know, a lot of fast-paced gunplay, you know, really interesting encounters, excellent map designs. For the most part, I do have a couple of map complaints, like Episode 3, Mission 2, for example. That map is just a crazy, shitty labyrinth, you know. It's not even remotely a well-designed map, but most of them are really good. And, uh... Let's see, we've got enemies that'll be around this corner here, like that imp, for example. That imp, of course, and another imp right behind him. And then there should be a shoddy guy, too, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. Am I oh, I guess I already killed him. Okay. Yeah, let's get that back down here. Just look how badass Doom guy looks in this. You know, it's kind of sad with the newer Doom. You don't really see his face like this. You know, you see the helmet, and obviously still badass. But it's not, you don't really get the personification that you did with the classic Doom. And then, of course, the Doom 3 guy, like, all the faces in Doom 3 just look really weird. Like, everybody looks like a blob character. Like, even, like, the skinny characters look super fat in that game for some reason. Everybody's got super pudgy faces and whatnot. <laughs> what happened there, anyways? I really don't know. And of course, just the way you exploit the game, of course, you can use the AI to attack each other. You know, the shotgun guy and imp were having an all-out battle there. You know, they can trigger attacking each other, and that's a really useful strategy. As a matter of fact, last time I played Doom, I successfully beat the spider demon using the Baron, uh, or whatever. He uh, ended up hitting the spider demon on, on accident, and he was just wailing on the spider demon but i guess with the spider demon the way it's programmed it's not going to attack its own ai even if it gets hit so he's just basically standing there trying to hit me but not being able to of course because i kept getting out of range while the bear just you know was wailing on him it was fantastic oh great so i'm gonna get killed here probably no i guess not probably here though like this is gonna be an interesting little encounter because as soon as i open that i'm gonna have the light shut off and we're gonna have a shit ton of imps there. Okay, actually, it's not that bad. Because imps, you can actually dodge, unlike the shotgun blast, you know. They're not at all a hassle to fight. But yeah, Doom. Doom has to be one of my favorite games of all time. You know, it's it's a special game. Uh, it's one that I played for years after it came out. You know, it wasn't until I got 
newer FPS games like um, Shadow Warrior, Quake 2, that I kind of started to move on from it. But even then, I still would look back every once in a while, you know, just because I had a lot of fond memories with this game. And here I am playing it for the second time this year. You know, first was in celebration, of course, of the 25th anniversary. And th now it's because of celebration of it releasing on Nintendo Switch, which is really the first real good handheld version that's officially available. Obviously, there's some good ports available for like the Vita and 3DS and whatnot. But this is the first good one in an official capacity. And it's worth celebrating, it really is. Uh, obviously, if you don't do handheld gaming quite as much, you can also get this on PS4 and Xbox One. They also updated the PC version. You can get it on Steam, GOG, not Epic Game Store, of course. You know, because why would somebody buy games there? <laughs> but I digress. This is a great game. If you never played it, just do it, guys. Just do it. So I think that's all I've got time for. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, but till then... Del Phoenix out!